at that old school. Look at the old sound. Look at all the people in this little video that do not belong with the Midnight Chats app anymore. <laughs> oh, it's like a graveside. Look at this. Well, how are you feeling about this whole PlayStation Classic shit, dude? Ah, oh, man. Uh, I'm, I do not like this. I hate the Classic Console concept. I really do. It's a crappy system, honestly. Uh, me and Alan always go back and forth on this. Hell, we probably would have gone back and forth on it today about how I think this is getting ridiculous. Mostly because my issue with the classic specifically the playstation classic is that i have these games i have the cartridges i have the cds and stuff like that that i want to be able to use on my actual game i see these as pointless because it's like you're not able to actually use your own hardware now i get that the whole idea is to be able to play games from back in the day on modern concept third party uh, companies do this all the time that's not officially licensed. So I get this is a way for officially licensed companies to be able to do what um, they're supposed to do with the current, the old school games. But my problem with that is that you don't get a chance to actually play the actual cartridges. If somebody wanted to actually get into the system, even if it was a brand new person, because Alan brought up the argument that if it's a brand new person wanting to try this, they never got to try it, they got a chance to, that's fine. But if they try to get into the uh, the console in question, which I'm gonna go with the PlayStation Classic right now, because that's what we're talking about, and they want to play more games, they can't because they would have to get a PS1, and which, by the way, the PS1 looks terribly bad on HDTVs nowadays, with AV cables and stuff, and they're not gonna look like it does with the PlayStation Classic. And that's where modding comes in, which fine, like I, I mod. I mean, I have a PS, I have a PSP that has a lot of modded stuff on it from Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, PS One and stuff. I have a PCs that can play my emulators and stuff like that. That's fine. But when it comes to these hardwares, it makes no sense to me. Like the only company that's doing it right is Sega. Sega is coming out with a classic. For those who don't know, it got delayed again because it was supposed to come out in, um, this year. Um, but they're actually letting you use your own cartridges, and I'm happy for that. But stuff like this, the PlayStation Classic that's on the screen right now, is a mistake. Yeah, I think it's a mistake too. I think that um, even them saying something about like, you know, yeah, later on we're going to release new games and new versions on a PlayStation Classic 2, or whatever it may be called. I think that's lame as well, because... I mean, now it's going to be region locked. Some regions might get this, and some regions might get that. That's a completely bad idea, because now I'm going to be like, man, I wish I had the Canada version, and I can't get it. But yet, they can get it, and now I'm bummed out for my version, so now I'm not going to like what I have. You don't even have network network functionality. I mean, I've seen Retron, uh, I don't know if you heard of the Retron 5, things like Retron that. Retron 5, yes. It's a good yeah. concept. Yeah, these games you can play online. Um, these things exist already, so why the fuck would I go to you guys? Like... Do something that's so cool that I don't want to steal from you, and I don't mind giving you my money. But as far as this goes, like I can get a lot better, <laughs> and I have yeah. to wait for this. It's fucking silly. This is dumb as shit. Sony's not going to do that for you, so we as the consumers have to do that ourselves. But if you're not in the know on how to do this stuff, then you're SOL, and you're just going to have a bot. Nintendo's going to step forward and allow this stuff to be online play. And I think that's actually pretty awesome. For $20 a year, Like that, that's pretty great. It's just that the NES games have to be able to run good or be able to replicate the hardware that is meant to emulate. And I think that's one of my main issues when it comes to these. And even then, the it goes back to having your own cartridges. Copyright's a big thing in this nowadays. Like, I remember we brought this up in the argument before about ME Paradise getting shut down. Copyright's a big issue. So it's like, I'm pretty sure Crash Bandicoot and games like that is going to make it. But what if I want to play, like, uh, I can't think of a, Jap a Japanese import game of uh, uh, Dragon Ball GT Final Bout or whatever. Th that game's not going to come over here because... The reason why it's not is because copyright's a big thing. Bandai Namco, uh, a lot of other companies were involved in that, and they're not going to put that on the PlayStation Classic. And even then, oh, yeah. They're, yeah, they're not going to because it's going to go with the most popular thing. It's not going to cater to us who have actual uh, PS1 software to even play those games online. And the PS3, like if you have a PS3 right now, you're able to play your PS1 games. Like. You can yeah. put a PS1, and even if, if you have a PS3 uh, Classic, the fat, you can play PS2 and PS1 games. So if you still have those consoles, there's really no need for this PlayStation Classic. No, there really, really isn't, man. And it sucks that, you know, we have to be kind of cynical when it comes to these kind of things, because I would love to be there right, right with everybody else. Like, oh, God, I cannot wait for this to come out. But I'm telling you, man, like, 
with all the games that we got from NES and Nintendo and everything, we should be moving upward with, with these things and not moving backwards. And unfortunately, I feel like we're moving backwards with this, man. Could be cool. Could be really awesome. But y'all motherfuckers are missing a lot of stuff. And you kind of work on that shit, man. Just